The purpose of this video is to show you how to read amps on motors. Um, we need to know how to use our multimeter and we need to have all our safety issues where if we're working in an open control panel that's energized, um, we need to have a competent person and know what we're doing. Um, and also another safety issue is when we're measuring amps, that means our system is going to be live and our motors are going to be running. So you'll hear noise coming from the trailer, contactors will be engaged, and motors will be running. So we'll have voltage and amps going from our connection, through our breakers, or fuses sometimes, through our motor starters, going out the bottom of motor starters into the trailer where the motors are running. The way we would measure amps, for instance, on this starter was for our SVE blower. We would put our multimeter on amps, AC amps, and put our amp meter around leg one. We would record leg one amps, put around leg two amps, leg three amps. And you got to get in here and kind of make sure you put it around the right wire. Again, this is a little dangerous because you're around, you're only inches away from, you know, power sources. But we need to know, we need to look at those th three amp ratings, if, if three phase motor, man. If it's two phase, you'd only be measuring two wires, or single phase, you'd be measuring two wires. Most of these bigger motors are going to be three phase, so there'll be three wires, L1, L2, L3. And we want to get the amp readings on those. We also want to know what the motor's doing, so... When you're getting amp readings, they correspond to the, what the motor's doing. So, for instance, if an SVE blower is at a high vacuum, you're going to see higher amps than at a lower vacuum. So, anytime we get amp readings on a motor, we also want to know what that motor's doing. So, it would be a good idea to go inside the trailer and write down the vacuum you're running at. If there's any pressure, write that down. Write down your operating conditions and then write down the amps for those operating conditions. If it's, and then if you change any of those operating conditions, you want to check your amps again.